Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review video topic 8.8 .8 on bioaccumulation and biomagnification. So we mentioned this a little bit in previous PowerPoints, but now we're going to get really into it. There are two words that you absolutely have to know for the AP exam. Bioaccumulation means that basically these chemicals like DDT that we mentioned earlier, or PCBs, they are going to get absorbed into your cells, typically your fat cells, right? That is because they're non they're nonpolar, both of them, and so things, if you remember from chemistry, like dissolves like. So these nonpolar molecules will be dissolved in nonpolar molecules like our own fat cells. Now that happens in every level. It accumulates, that's number one. But then because of the 10% rule in the, in the trophic pyramid, remember that one, that's going to be something that biomagnifies. So each level of concentration goes up per unit of body tissue. So that means that as you go from one organism to another, it's going to increase almost tenfold or more. So if you look right here, let's look at this one on the way down, right? So the PCBs here are being released up at the top, and in the top, it's going to have very, very tiny amounts, right? So if you look at the red dots, those red dots are all over the place. They're spread out everywhere. And then they get to our zooplankton and our phytoplankton, and those are going to end up getting larger and larger quantities. And then our herring and our salmon are going to get even more quantities, and then look right here, by the time we get to our large mammals like whale or even uh, tuna and stuff like that, things that are bigger that eat salmon and stuff like that, that's going to end up making a really massive amount. So that's the problem is biomagnification. And so uh, we saw this quite a bit with um, our old nemesis DDT. And so here's what happened, right? DDT was used as a pesticide in the U.S. It was sprayed very, very religiously almost. Um, and very, very expeditiously and really fast. So this ended up spreading and uh, causing a lot of problems. The main problem was that DDT was thinning the eggs of bald eagles and ospreys. So those are organisms that have to be consumed quite a bit and they end up accumulating a ton of that DDT in their tissues. And so that DDT interfered with the calcium formation. So these... Uh, these uh, birds would lay their eggs and then sit on them to warm them, to incubate them, and then they would crush them. So that wiped out a very large population, a uh, large number of the population of bald eagles and ospreys and birds of prey. Right? And then, of course, you can have other issues where um, this stuff can end up in your tissues and uh, lead to reproductive or nervous or circulatory problems. And so, you know, DDT is an example. PCBs are also and then as well as mercury as well. Mercury is a teratogen, which is a birth something that causes birth defects as well. So, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> so here's some other resources. Hopefully those are uh, helpful, and hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you.